Hey guys, this is Wild Books. I'm Kelsey Capps, reader in residence at the Wild Detectives, and I'm here to talk to you about my favorite books of the month as well as some events coming up. Done. Bueno. <laughs> Before we get to books, I want to talk to you guys about some special events that we have coming up. On the 16th of the month, we're hosting an international series of micro talks called Pecha Kucha. It sounds like I'm saying something dirty, but I'm not. And it's essentially where a speaker goes up, they have 20 slides, and they have 20 seconds per slide to cover their topic. On the 17th, Justin Kinkle Schuster from Water Liars is going to be here to do a solo show. And then on the 22nd, jazz legend Peter Bratzman and Heather Lay are going to be here as part of the Our Father the Jerk farther jazz series Ooh, um, as part of our tongue twister series books of the month my absolute favorite book that i've read this year uh, is women talking by miriam taves not toes all right we've learned that from youtube thank you you gotta let the book talk to you you know so this book is based on a true story an absolutely horrific true story about a mennonite colony in bolivia where about 150 women from the ages of three to 80 were drugged and raped by the men in their colony. In such an insular community where the men are in a higher political and cultural status, these guys got away with it for about four years because they gaslighted them and told the women that ghosts were doing it. Um, that's real and actual. And they go on essentially to discover the truth. And then one of the women uh, threatens to kill one of the guys in the colony because of course you would and um, once the, the men are removed to safety from the colony and taken to jail the women have to decide what they're going to do whether they're going to stay leave kill all of them because some of them definitely argue for that it's an amazing conversation uh, about justice about faith and what to do uh, when you are uh, absolutely without defense. Our next book is a nonfiction collection called The Collected Schizophrenias, and it's fascinating. I didn't know what I was getting into when I started it. I actually picked it up because it was recommended by someone on Instagram. The author herself was diagnosed early on with uh, schizophrenia bipolar type, and so she, even though she's talking about statistics and things that affect the mental health community in the U.S. and the systems that we have set up or don't, um, in a lot of cases. It's really personal. She talks about her own experiences with schizophrenia. It's, I mean, as a person who hasn't had to deal with a major mental illness diagnosis before, um, it creates a lot of compassion and a lot of understanding for things that people just don't hear that much about. I mean, I can't remember, I mean, other than A Beautiful Mind, which she talks about, um, most people don't know anything about schizophrenics. We have a very serious stigma against them. And this is a really humanizing book. It gives you some tools to think about mental illness in a different way. Uh, it gives you some ideas on how we should approach mental illness policy-wise and just culturally in general. But more than that, I mean, it teaches you a lot about what it's like to be someone with a serious mental illness um, living in the U.S. and just, I mean, living day to day. After reading this, it definitely gave me a more personal insight into mental illness and the way we should address it in the U.S and it's just beautifully written as well. Our last one is this Mamma Jamma. It is speeches, essays, and lectures by the one and only Toni Morrison, babe, all right? I don't even know that I need to hype this book because it's Toni Morrison, she won a Nobel, and if you don't know her, well, you suck, so. Um, but it's so good, man, it is beautifully written. She pretty much covers every topic you could think of. She talks about the press, she talks about politics, she talks about immigration and race, how all those things intertwine. It's beautifully written, her language is amazing. I've been taking notes this entire time. Um, and all of it is just really fresh thoughts on what we should do about human dignity, what we should do in an age where the press has become more of a hype machine than actual information telling and how we get ourselves out of the situation that we're in culturally today. It's, it's amazing, it give, gives you tons of food for thought um, without being unapproachable. As always, remember to check us out on social media, on our website, you can sign up for our newsletter and our usual monthly events are still happening. So you've got Inner Moonlight, Kids in the Cliff and our book clubs, which are in English and Spanish. So we would love to see you guys around. Happy reading.